got another thrift with me video and man i hit big time again hello everybody welcome back to tuco vintage vinyl hunter uh, today we're going to do another thrift with me episode. We're going to do a literal treasure hunt here. There we go. Got my treasure map here. This is like literally like Indiana Jones and the Vinyl Crusade here. There's our uh, pirate's treasure map. Got that red mark right there. That's X marks the spot. Hopefully we'll find some vinyl records at the antique mall there. All right, we've arrived. Here's uh, one antique mall right here, Heartland Antique Mall it is called. I'm gonna try and go through there, do speed rounds, see how fast I can get through there. Hopefully I get through there fast enough that I can go across the street over there to Clutterbug Antiques. Hopefully can we get through both of those, see if there's any records. If I'm lucky though, maybe there might be too many records over in this place and I won't even have time to get to the other place and it might end up being a two or three day ordeal. You never know. But yeah, let's uh, go on inside and see what we can find. looking for a 12 inch vinyl. This is an antique mall so that means there's multiple vendor booths. There'll be lots of small batches of records here and there scattered out throughout the whole antique mall. It's the four lads, but if my math is right, there's five of them there on the cover. Looks like I got my hands full. Won't be going across the street today. Just digging through all these. I see Montrose, April Wine. Red Cordial Disc, Bunch of 45s. Some, some other big thick Edison discs. Some Edison cylinders. All sorts of stuff in here. So I'm just gonna dig with you a little bit here. Okay, so I don't know if these guys these have prices on them. If they're all one set price. Oh three dollars each. There's a little sign over there that says three dollars each. See, I don't know about three dollars. Aldo Nova, cheap trick in Aldo Nova was my first concert. These days I'm gonna to have to show you my Bee Gees collection. Got a huge Bee Gees collection. I just picked up this German not too long ago. Osborne Brothers. That's tempting, but 
I got too much to go through here for three dollars. I'm gonna hold off for a bit. Wow, look at that. On this video I just did on my Roger Miller collection, I showed a double album, Guitars Unlimited, play the Roger Miller songbook and the Eddie Arnold songbook. And mine is missing the Eddie Arnold record in it. And look at this. Here I found this Eddie Arnold. It's not the proper one that goes to mine now. Tell you some Lois. Oh, Lauren Green, the man. I am a big Lauren Green fan. That one will be going home with me. Oh, I got that. Wakeman. I already got it. Not exciting enough for me to spend three dollars on Montrose. I might have to do though. I doubt these are Screaming Jay Hawkins, but we will look. No such luck. Living in a box. Not familiar with this. Genesis Abacab. Fix. Reach the beach. It's got writing all over it. Simply red. 38 Special, I just grabbed that 38 Special record, Moxie. Moxie, I'm not sure what that is, but I feel like it's something. Pull that out. Seventy-five. April wine. Maybe there's the firm, and so 
so much writing on, oh, UFO, no heavy padding. Stay in the tom. Record ain't in there. Something else is in there. A ten inch. All right. It's too hard to do. this phone in my hand filming this so I'm gonna let you guys go for a bit I'm gonna dig if I find anything I'll let you know what's up totally on my want list an early John Roth era Scorpions record that I don't have yet this has sales of Sharon on it steam rock fever will burn the sky all sorts of stuff I'm really wanting one the version of that with the um, with the um, really wanting the version of that with the cemetery cover on it. What is that? Mm -hmm. Montrose is pretty roasty. I got the Nancy and Landon. Chubby Checker is tempting. Look what I hit here, though. Hold on. Look what I hit. All right. Oh, I already got that. This is tempting. It's an upgrade. My favorite Ventures album right there. Look at that. Look at that. I got so much ventures though. I've already got this Tamita Snowflakes are Dancing. But this is a quadraphonic. So I'll definitely be snatching that up. This uh, Crosby Nash is in pretty bad condition. So I'll leave in that. Fog hat. Alright, I made it through. I made it through the 12 inch vinyl. Give you a quick look at what I pulled out. I'm going to go check the condition, make sure the right records are in there, and make sure I want them even. Maybe thin some of it out. My break is already long over. I don't got time to go through these. I'll have to come back another time. a bunch of 45s upstairs I didn't look at. Oh, there's some records. And I guess I'll look at these real quick. A bunch more records back here. You have to come back though. I'm definitely way past a break. Oh, there's a uh, is that Enid Collins. Enid Collins. $52 though. They know what they got. I've said before, maybe you guys don't know. I used to have an antique store also, so <laughs> I'm always looking at other stuff too. Not just records. 
All right, let's take a close look at all this cool stuff that I found. ABBA the singles. I've said it before on this channel, no shame in my game. I absolutely love ABBA. The singles, the first 10 years. This is a double album set, gatefold. Just all sorts of killer stuff on here. Fernando, SOS, those are my jams. Take a chance on me. Another one of my jams. A bunch of other great stuff too on here though. Uh, Mamma Mia, Dancing Queen, Gimme Gimme Gimme. Killer, love me some ABBA. The Cult, Resurrection Joe, UK 12 inch single from 1984. And this is the textured cover version. Very cool. I'm a big Lauren Green fan. Uh, I'm surprised I didn't have this already. I don't know, man. I think Discogs is kind of goofing up on me. It's telling me I don't have things. And I'm pretty sure I have some of this stuff. I thought I might have had this. It's saying I've got like one Lauren Green album. I'm pretty sure I got probably three Lauren Green albums. But who knows? We'll see. Uh, this is Lauren Green, The Man, 1965. As you can see right here, Amy used to own this album. This is in beautiful condition. So even if I did have this already, this is probably an upgrade. This is still in the shrink. Uh, if you guys know me, if there's no hype sticker on it, I don't like leaving them in the shrink. I just put them in a bag, you know? I don't need this shrink on them anymore. I don't think that shrink is doing any favors. It's just making it look ugly. So let's take it off right here, right now. Huh? Huh? Did that feel good? It did, didn't it? Lauren Green, the man. Found some UFO at the antique mall. By the way, these records were all priced at $3 each. But then I found out when I was ringing up that Booth was having a sale. Uh, they ended up being $2.40 each. So, uh, I don't know, what is that, 20% off or something like that? Yeah, found UFO. Forset, 1975. Very cool, able to fill some holes in my UFO collection. Of course, this is Michael Schenker era. Another UFO. No heavy padding. Also Michael Schenker, 1976. Killer stuff. If you guys don't know UFO, man, killer hard rock and stuff. You know, Michael Schenker... Uh, he was, uh, he used to be in the Scorpions. His brother, Rudolf Schenker, is, you know, the, the founding member of the Scorpions. And uh, uh, Michael Schenker is just a guitar god, you know. Lights Out, UFO, 1977. Another Michael Schenker era. Killer stuff. Of course, Pete Way on bass, Phil Mogg. Andy Parker on drums. And Paul Raymond, you know, the, the classic lineup. Killer stuff. All right, these next ones are total blind buys. Don't know anything about them. I just figured uh, I'm going to pick them up, check them out, see if it's cool or not. Moxie 2, 1976, Canadian Hard Rock. This is their second album, obviously. Their first album actually had Tommy Bolin on guitar. Of course, he went on to play with uh, Deep Purple. And they had another album, Thinking About You, which had Mike Reno, who went on to Loverboy. Crazy. Another Moxie album, Riding High, 1977. This is their third album and their final album with their lead singer, Buzz Shearman. Now, like I said, I haven't listened to them yet. Hopefully it turns out to be pretty cool. Who knows? Sometimes you just got to buy it and take a chance. Another Moxie, Under the Lights, from 1978. April Wine, Stand Back, 1975. This copy is actually a um, 1981 reissue. Al Green, love some Al Green, man. He's probably my favorite soul singer. I'm Still in Love With You from 1972. You know, when we did, uh, when we did the Thor tour, we went and played Memphis. And, you know, that's Al Green's turf. He's got a church there. Uh, we went and drove by his church, saw that. That's pretty cool. Another blind buy, Baby, 1974. Hard Rock, 
This is uh, li the limited numbered version. You see on the back here, there's the numbered version. Uh, 3602 out of um, out of 5,000 copies. You saw, you were there. You saw when I found this. How crazy is this? That's still a thing, right? Bobby Gentry, the Delta Suite. Um, yeah, like uh, this thing goes for crazy money now. I think people are picking it up. Uh, by the way, uh, Bobby Gentry, uh, she's most known for her song, uh, Ode to Billy Joe. Uh, Billy Joe McAllister jumped off the Tallahatchie Bridge or whatever it is. But uh, this is uh, 1968's The Delta Suite. But I think the reason that this record sells for a whole bunch of money now is because in 2019, Mercury Rev released Bobby Gentry's The Delta Suite Revisited, featuring uh, Nora Jones was on it, Lucinda Williams, Hope Sandoval from Mazzy Star, and a bunch of other stuff. I, I don't know if you know or not, I'm a big Philadelphia Eagles fan. Uh, boy, we went to Philadelphia, saw a game at the link even there. While in Philadelphia, we went and looked at a whole bunch of record stores, about a whole bunch of stuff. We went to um, a Philly restaurant, you know, Philadelphia cheesesteak sandwiches at Philadelphia, of course, the home of the Philadelphia sandwich where it was invented. Uh, we went to this place and had, maybe it was Jim's, I can't remember. Jim South Street, yep, and man, it was the best Phillies. There's always the big debate who's got the best Phillies, Pats or Geno's. The answer is neither. Now, I've never, I haven't eaten every single Philly, but man, Jim's South Street blew it away. But anyway, hanging on the wall in uh, Jim's South Street location was a 45 of the Orlons. They do the song South Street, so I need to find me a copy of that sometime. All right, this one. I already have this album, Tomita snowflakes are dancing he is a um he's a pioneer of like early electronic music does a lot of stuff with the moog synthesizer you can see all this equipment he used on the uh on the recording of this album i had to get this version of it though because this is a quadraphonic version of it so very cool yeah i got several of tomita's albums i also have um he does Strav Stravinsky's Firebird. You know, I'm a big Igor Stravinsky fan. Oh, by the way, um, well, I can't remember what song it is. Yeah, I want to say Gollywog's Cakewalk is the theme song for, do you remember that old PBS show? Is like a really short, like a five minute show. Jack Horkheimer, the star hustler. It changed his name later to Jack Horkheimer, the stargazer, whatever, where you do a bunch of astro astronomy stuff. This is actually where the theme song for that came from. This is the original version of that theme song. Also found this at the antique mall. 240 I paid for this. Anderson, Bruford, Wakeman, and Howe from 1989. That's so basically Yes without Chris Squire. You know, it actually has Tony Levin on the bass. And you know me. This is in the shrink. There's no hype sticker on it. I am going to get rid of that shrink right here, right now on camera. Liberate it. And I'm just going to put it in a proper bag. It looks so much better now. Now, I'm a huge fan of some 70s Scorpions. Found this there, Scorpions in Trance. I already have this album, but man, I just could not pass it up. This is from 1975 with Uli John Roth on guitar. Uh, that is my favorite era of Scorpions is with Uli John Roth on guitar. This is a uh, first U.S. press of this record. This is the censored cover of it, by the way. I'd still like to find uh, this. This is probably, I bet this is probably one of the harder uncensored covers to find. I think, I think it was only in like certain countries even. Uh, I could be wrong on that, but yeah, I'd like to find me an uncensored cover of Entrance sometime. My Scorpions collection. I think I got everything Uli John Roth era now, except for I did not have Taken by Force. And I finally found it at that antique mall. Man, I was super excited to find this. The last hole in my uh, 
Uli John Roth era Scorpions collection. This is from 1977. Of course, this has um, this has the song. Uh, where is it? The Sales of Sharon. Man, I'll tell you what. That is some guitar wizardry on that song. Steam Rock Fever will burn the sky. All of it. So good. He's a woman. She's a man. Killer man. If you guys do not know. If all you know is that Scorpions is um, rocky like a hurricane and stuff, man, do yourselves a favor and go back and check out this early, the 70s, Uli John Roth era stuff. In fact, in trance, that might be my favorite Scorpions album right there. But yeah, check that stuff out, man. So, so good. Also, their first album. Before Lee John Roth, the first album was Michael Schenker on guitar. Lonesome Crow, another killer album. Definitely go back and find yourself some 70s Scorpion stuff. Found another copy of Wanda Jackson, self-titled, first album from 1958. This is actually a 1960 repress. It does have some seam splitting on it. In fact, this thing was so fragile that just by handling it very very little by me I ripped it out more even but but yeah very cool to have very first Wanda Jackson this is actually like I said it's actually a second copy of it for me so this one actually will probably end up going for sale I already got this album too but for two dollars and forty cents I couldn't pass it up White Witch from 1974 a Spiritual Gathering. This is their second album. I want to say they only did two albums, but I could be wrong. Uh, their name, White Witch, refers to white magic as opposed to black magic. They're kind of like the uh, they're like the opposite of Black Sabbath with their black magic sort of themes, you know. In fact, they announced before their shows to bring good where there once was evil. To bring love where there once was hate. To bring wisdom where there once was ignorance. This is the power of White Witch. Uh, this is the Baker Gervitz Army. <laughs> Forgive all these post-it notes on here. They'll make sense here in a minute. It's from 1975, Elysian Encounter. This is the second album by them. Of course, it's uh, Ginger Baker from Cream. And uh, Adrian Gervitz and uh, Paul, I want to say. Yeah, Paul Gervitz, brothers, I'm guessing. Uh, Adrian Gervitz, by the way, is from Gun. You know, the band that did the song Race with the Devil. This is prog, kind of psych, hard rock stuff. There's Gatefold. But anyway, yeah, I spent way too much time. I spent way too much time on this the other day trying to figure out. I've, I noticed that these pictures were probably them. I noticed that this guy right here looked like Ginger Baker. So I went and tried to figure out who all the people were. I'm going to say that's what Ginger Baker right down there. Paul Gervitz. Adrian Gervitz. Mr. Snips of vocals, a.k.a. Stephen Parsons. And Peter Lemur, I believe it is, on keys. Baker Gervitz Army. All right, and my next video, we are going to return to the Heartland Antique Mall where I found all that stuff, and uh, we're going to dig through uh, those other records that I showed you. There was a booth there with a whole bunch of records that I didn't have time to uh, dig through at that time, so I come back the next day, I believe, and take you with me. We go dig and see if we can find anything there, and we go somewhere else and make another mega haul what yeah i keep hitting it's crazy how much stuff i found recently so make sure that you are subscribed to my channel so you don't miss out on the notification for that video and for all my future videos thanks everyone for watching and i will see you on the next one